Happy New Year, my friends. Anybody else happy to have 2020 behind us? Well, I sure am. It wasn't a good year, and still, a few good things did happen. And uh, let's take a look at what 2020 was like for me. Cross-country flying was certainly possible in 2020, but what you can do once you get to your destination was quite limited. I only went on two longer trips during the year, the first one to Colorado and the second one to Florida. You've probably seen the Colorado videos on my channel already, it was a gorgeous flight out there. In the spring I got a new upgraded engine with a little more power along with a new propeller. The takeoff and climb performance of the new setup has been fantastic and cruise speed has improved too by a few knots. In Florida, Becky and I still worked from home, just from a different home, right by the Atlantic Ocean. And I can tell you the sunrise there is out of this world. And I was able to fly to two more class Bravo airports during this trip, to Charlotte and to Orlando. It was a very nice change of scenery in a year where we were mostly stuck at home. With the big air shows cancelled, there's no Oshkosh, no sound and fun, there were a few smaller aviation events which still took place in 2020. Favorite for me and many others is the monthly airport barbecue in Mason City, Iowa, held on the third Thursday of each month. And this past summer, third Thursday turned out to be a very popular event with a neat variety of cool aircraft and lots of nice people attending. An entirely different event was the inaugural ACCA, the Aviation Content Creator Award weekend at Stearman Field in Wichita, Kansas. Didn't win a prize there, but it was a fun weekend and an opportunity to meet with other YouTubers and also with some fans, especially some of the younger ones who are eager to start flying as soon as they hit minimum age.
In terms of disasters, it's hard to top the coronavirus. But that wasn't the only challenge we faced here in Iowa this year. We have a pretty clear runner-up, actually. One day in August, when we all thought 2020 couldn't possibly get any worse, most of us here in Iowa learned a new word, derecho. The dictionary defines a derecho as a widespread, long-lived, straight-line windstorm. And while that definition is correct, it does not convey the devastation it can cause. 2020 turned from bad to worse in a matter of 45 minutes on the morning of August 10th. Hundreds of thousands of trees were damaged or fell, even big ones like this. They brought down power lines everywhere and the roots caused gas leaks in many places. Fortunately, there was not much damage at the Cedar Rapids airport. My hangar and the Bonanza survived the storm unharmed. Nearby Marion Airport was hit much harder and had damage to buildings and also to some aircraft. I flew less cross-country hours in a typical year, but I took more flight training than usual. In 2019, I had gotten my commercial certificate, and this year, in August of 2020, I added the flight instructor certificate. And in December, just before Christmas, I was able to get the instrument rating added to that instructor certificate. So I'm a CFII now, and I'm excited to pass on what I have learned in more than three decades of flying to others. I do that in a small flying club here in Cedar Rapids in a Cirrus SR20. I published 37 videos on YouTube in 2020 and one more on LinkedIn, and together they got just over a million views during the year. And it's funny that the LinkedIn video got by far the most views, that one, over 160,000 alone, even though it was by far the easiest to make. There was a time lapse of traffic visualized by ForeFlight, which took me about 10 minutes to make and upload. More importantly, the collaboration on some of the videos got me in touch with some very nice people, like Christian Dan from In The Hangar, or Brian Turner from Just Plain Silly, and of course Captain Joe from Germany, who sat down with me for an interview after flying with me in the Bonanza. That was a lot of fun. So, oh, what's coming up in 2021? Well. The new year is just starting and has yet to prove to be better than the last one, but I want to be optimistic and say that things are going to head back towards normal. I'm really hoping that large aviation events like AirVenture can happen again. There will be many more videos, of course, including some on instrument flying, on engine management, and one I'm planning to do on slow flight. Hopefully I can fly to a few more Class Bravo airports, and I also hope to go on some longer cross-country flights again uh, than this year and put that new engine to good use. I plan on instructing, and I'm especially looking forward to my first flight with our new granddaughter, May, who just got her very own headset from Santa just to be ready for that experience. I hope you'll be along for some of those flights here on YouTube. I wish you all the best for 2021. Fly safe, and see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.